See if it'll do a burnout. You want to try? <laughs> yeah. Alright. Please don't shut off on me. It may be 10 millimeter. Yep, I don't think, I think it is. Are we live? Oh, we're rolling. All right, what we're doing, we're about to, uh, we're getting close to firing the motor in the 67. It's, it's a uh, blueprint motor. It's already been dynoed. Uh, it's a TCI 700 transmission, but we're, um, Got everything worked out on the wiring for the motor and getting ready to just get the oil pressure up and spin it over and make sure the wiring is all right. Because we're getting we're getting on the short rows of this thing, which I'm glad and it's time, so hopefully right, we're gonna spin it. Gonna we're gonna spin it over with the drill here and just get the oil pressure up and see make sure it's got oil pressure and then uh just hook the battery up, spin it over, make sure we got the wiring right now and see what it does i just didn't want to uh i didn't want to spin the transmission yeah with the uh everything dry in it so gotcha yeah because that thing why well, even it, though it is in neutral there's a pump in there that pumps and you can burn it out and that big bottom drawer there on the yeah. right then no more transmission all right we're just gonna um this is a oil pump primer that i made out of an old old distributor we're just gonna stick it down in there engage it with the oil pump spin it with the drill and see if we got oil pressure all right new battery bigger battery Good Good gosh. Gosh. 79 percent <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, 80 all the way. We got, She's good. We got good oil pressure. <laughs> all right. All right, well, that's good. Let's, uh, so we can stick the, uh, we just stick the distributor back down in there. All right. And this is just going to be a bump over? Uh, yeah, probably. Well, with no. If it'll bump wires on it it's definitely not gonna fire yeah, so fire. no gas you got no gas <laughs> are we ready oh i'm ready i'm rolling good starter what's the oil pressure doing Sweet. Did you see that? What crap was that? What did it do? It just, it just went. <laughs> the battery just, I mean, far, far. Oh, it shot the terminal off. Well, the, uh, the, the cable, cable came off. Yeah, the cable came off. <laughs> My gosh. No kidding. It just blowed the cable. Oh, no, no, no. The cable's not on there. I know. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, at least the wiring, it, it's good. All right, that was the main thing. What the? It, did it stop dripping fluid now? I don't hear it hitting the bucket no more. All right.
Gosh. I don't know if I got the number one up. That, that thing with that starter bumping the way it was, it was. Yeah, the starter's gonna have to be assessed at a later date. Oh, God. Oh, God. Should we get a fire extinguisher? Yeah, it's fine. There's a bunch of them around. Right? All we Do you, well, you want me to? Well, what do you, we, 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 need a, give me a nine sixteenth. The distributor's wanting to move around a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Starting to smell fumey in there, bud. That's all a fella could do just to breathe in here. Breathe it in. That's what the good stuff's made of. Wouldn't you know it? I don't know why anybody. Those fumes used to be dinosaurs. <laughs> all right. Assessment. Oh, it's good. It's uh, once we get um, the gas, you know, enough gas in it to where it'll, it'll run. Uh, I didn't want to fill the bowls up on the carburetor because there's not a gasket up under the carburetor. And uh, but it's got good oil pressure. The biggest thing I want to do is make sure we had the wiring right because we had to rewire everything to, uh, from the switch, the factory switch, and all. So we got all that right. Uh, yeah, we're just uh, we're getting in the short road. Got to fix yeah, we've got a gasket, uh, more or two, something. I don't know. Between the transfer case and the transmission is leaking, but we'll get that fixed up. That's uh, That that was my fault. I should have. Uh, this is just the nature of building something, yeah. especially when you when it's all fresh and you got to. Yeah, we'll probably just pull that transfer case back off and reseal it. Uh, that was one. We put the clocking ring on it, too, so... Right. We may have to just redo the clock and ring and everything, but in, in, in. it's the way it goes. If that's the worst thing that happens, we're in good shape. That's it. What? All right. The transfer case is going back in. They have it here. I'm going to stand by. Rich. Hmm. I got you. Yeah. Huh? You think that'll fix the leak there? Oh man, if it don't. If it don't fix the leak, there's a hole in something somewhere. Yeah. Because we, uh, we sealed her up pretty good that time. And honestly, 
it may be my fault anyway. I can't remember 100% if uh, we really sealed it up right if it was. I can't remember if we made that <laughs> cross member and all that, and I cannot remember. It's probably yeah, in the video. Yeah, and we so. bolted it together on the table, and I, I may have been, we may have just mock up bolted it, and I can't remember. But anyway. Anyway, hopefully that's. It's done thing. now. And uh, we'll have our. Yes. I guess our kick down cable, that was another place it was it just wasn't in it, so it was just barreling out the top of it. Yeah, I got so a get put in there. Yeah, I've got the new kick down cable picked it up, so And you got the I transmission lines running, they look cool. Yeah, all that's done. Good. Got the fuel lines ran. Uh y'all uh, heard it fire ish yesterday. Yes, it's just got some ratty old plug wires we've scooped up and found around the shop. Yeah, and that was just to make sure we had the wiring right for the switch and all, so we got it all We've got it all wired up right. Uh, we will probably, uh, we'll make, uh, next week, we'll, we'll, we'll have a big dent in this thing. This thing may be close to ready next week if everything goes good. So that will be uh, yeah. lovely, yeah. very lovely. And the honcho, we're, uh, we are about to get it done. Seth got the gauges mm -hmm. wire, uh, well, plumbed today we got to get a couple more brackets for the alternator stuff ivan's got all the wiring done on the dash so it's uh it's close and once we get these two out of here uh, that baby right there will be pulling in for a four by four conversion we've already kind of a little bit started working on the parts that are going in it, getting them refurbished. So, uh, yeah, that's uh, that's one we're looking forward to doing. That's one of the, that's one too. Maybe you guys that's got the older vans that's been wanting to know if uh, we have kits for older vans. That one there may be the one to that one be be the one to let us know whether we can make kits or not. So, uh, y'all stay tuned on that. She's bad. She's bad. She's bad. Yeah. Dang, dude. Nice. Nice. What have you got us doing? Well, we are at a little bit of a standstill, so we are um, decided to go ahead and get the uh, like rear end that's going in the prison van and start tearing it down. Oh, I thought uh, it might go. So we can start refreshing it and making it all new again. Cool. And that. It's from the ambulance we had here a few months ago, yeah, correct? That's from a came out of a 1983 G30 ambulance, I believe. So it's a 14 bolt heavy, no, not a heavy duty. It's the light duty 14 bolt, but it, they're plenty heavy duty. Same thing as in your van and in my van. Yeah. And I wanted to tell you too, because you were out, that brake shoe, brand new. All the stuff in it is brand new. I guess Already. being an ambulance, it had to be serviced. Oh. But then brakes, I mean, there's no cracks, no nothing. I mean, they're still blue. Well, they're still blue right there. So. Cool. We'll clean all that up. If anything needs to be replaced, we'll replace it. Couldn't get this side off, but we'll get that in a minute. All right. All right, we're we're at the shop in the shop today. We try, I know we've been we've been kind of slack on getting material out lately, but we've we've had God, we've had so much going on, and uh, as y'all probably know, everything it seems like the whole year happens in October. 
October seems to be the month of everything, and we have been just slap covered up with the congregation show. We've got a camping event we're going to this weekend, and uh, we're wrapping up the 67. We've been working on that. We're about finished with the honcho, so those, hopefully these two are going to be going out of here uh, at the end of this month. We've got uh, Jake at Prism Supply. We start to get his stuff in the shop working on it. This is his rear end. These are his leaf springs that we're working on refurbishing them. We've got the, uh, some new parts for his stuff coming in today. And y'all also know uh, we said, a, it's probably been a month or so ago that uh, when we were working on Ivan's bike that we had decided we may start fooling with some uh, choppers and stuff over the winter. And uh, I guess that process has kind of stopped, started. Seth found him a uh, Sportster yesterday. We went and picked it up. And, uh, Wow, that's, uh... Yeah, you tell them about it. <laughs> tell them what you tell them what you found here, and what you plan on doing with it. Well, uh, it's a 1987 Sportster, and it was originally a 883, and it has, in the time between several owners, I guess, from what I understand, it has been converted to a 1250, and so with the uh, with some hot cams, and I wish Ivan was here because he'd be able to explain a little bit more, but. Uh, yeah, it's just a Ray Little 8 1987 Sportster 1250 kit in there. And it come with that many parts. And I can guarantee you there's that many parts missing. So <laughs> yeah. we're going to go through it. And we got another surprise this afternoon, speaking of motorcycles. So, but we're going to go through this thing, see if we can get it running. It may stick around and it may be gone next week. But this is one that I bought and. I don't know. I guess this will be the uh, the starting point. Yeah, for us. it's either it will either it will either get a hardtail kit and become a chopper, or it may just be put together and uh, move on down the road and uh, get another one. Because we uh, we we are not we're not motorcycle guys. We know a little bit, but this is going to be something we'll be cutting our teeth on. So it's going to be a learning experience for us too, working on it. I like Seth said, Ivan knows a little bit more about him. That's his over there. Uh, Y'all see work we'll be working on it. We actually went just a little while ago I've been looking on marketplace for motorcycle lift and you cannot find them if they get a deal any Where in any kind of deal they go in just an hour or so on marketplace, but Harbor Freight Just put these things on sale and from what I understand they're probably going to be going up So we bit the bullet and went on and got one so we could start working on on the bikes this winter uh, We've got uh, our buddy Ethan. Y'all have probably seen Ethan on some of the videos. You'll probably see some more of him. He's going to be helping us out some in the evenings when he gets home from work. He just picked up this van here for himself. He got tired of camping in tents, so he got him a van. And uh, I don't know what all he's going to want to do to it. We'll uh, probably, uh, with him helping us out, we'll, we're going to squeeze his in on the shop and help him out getting this thing going that's what we got going on we got the camping trip this weekend that's probably pretty much gonna wrap up our month for the crazy october so we will be uh starting to cut wood and get the shop warm for the winter so we can get to working and making videos Normally Mondays suck, but not for you. Howdy. <laughs> Peter, kid, you bothered me. <laughs> we that was new. Motorcycles, <laughs> yeah, we planned on working on some bikes this winter, so we, we were lucky enough to find a couple bikes. Uh, we're gonna be working on these this winter. Uh, we've got uh, Jake's, Prism Supply, we got his rear end. We started working on it so we can get his van in here. We were shooting for November the 1st. 
to get his van in and get these two done. So we're still shooting for that. We're just gonna see see how that goes. We've, uh, let's see here. We've got Ethan. Y'all haven't met Ethan, Ooh. but Ethan has been coming and helping us out some. Uh, he's got a full-time job. He's got a real job. <laughs> yeah. He's been helping us out some in the evenings and we really appreciate it because that's, uh, it, it, it's helped us put a dent in the stuff that we gotta get done. He actually, uh, Picked him up a van. He's out here working on it. We have uh, we picked up some differentials for another build this weekend. Uh, you know, like I say, we, we just we got a lot going on behind the scenes. We're trying to uh, we're trying to get we're trying to get the channel to a point where we can really concentrate on the channel. And uh, honestly, when we started doing the four wheel drive stuff on the vans, we didn't know realize it was going to take off and be like it has and it kind of has caught us a little off guard so we're we're behind on a lot of stuff to get caught up so we can concentrate uh 100 on the channel and in the van so that's where we at we just thought we wanted to get just thought we'd get something out to you and let you know why you haven't been seeing the content like we used to do it's just we're just we're just trying to get our self in a place where we can do it and do it right and not just keep showing y'all junk the same thing over and over and over and make it boring so that's where we're at and uh I don't know. What else we got? I don't know. I might catch up with Ethan. Yeah, Ethan. And see what's happening what's with this man. And, and can please continue to like, subscribe, share. We're going to keep doing it. We may be a little, next couple of weeks, it may be kind of up and down. Nothing real. Uh, um, exciting. Exciting and nothing constant. In other words, it might be sporadic, but uh, we're not going anywhere. We're going to get there. I promise you. I promise you. I'll catch him when he comes back out of here. But I think this was owned previously by a friend of everybody here. And he said before he sold it, it started knocking. And then actually wound up in the hands of another friend of mine, of us. And uh, the knocking got even worse. And they were going to build it out. And then things happened. So those plans went to the side. And then Ethan bought it. So... What we are trying to do is going to see if it does move under its own power. If it does, we have to run to the parts store for the 67. And uh, I think Ethan said he we were going to get some just thick, thick oil. Might even just put gear oil in it because uh, Ethan wants to build a small block for it anyway. So if the V6 does blow up, it's no big loss. But if we can save it, he can get it rolling for a little while while he's building his small block so we're just going to be messing around with this while things are happening on that yes yeah and we got uh i don't know i'm a little sporadic right? yeah I'm a little all over the place <laughs> into the face okay into the face. into the face. <laughs> All right, so what, what I kind of covered a little bit, but just in case I don't use that, what's the plan here? All right, so we got these badass wheels back here um, that hopefully will go on there when I can afford some rubbers. Cool as hell. Uh, now it's we got to drain imitation oil out of this thing <laughs> imitation. And, put, and put for real diesel oil in this thing and see if we can get that knock to stop. But other than that, it's just doing that now change the hole make sure all the fluids are good right and then now i gotta find a fan right yeah and sometimes these serpentine belts they spin the fan one way or another way so we need to make sure if we find a fan it's the right way don't know which way it turns but we'll and then we're gonna go for a shakedown breakdown round see how bad we can hurt it <laughs> and hopefully there won't be a rod sticking out from under there <laughs> That should be the right pitch on it. Hell yeah, dude. Look at that. Already found. Brand new. We'll, we'll let you bolt that up. Heck yeah. Install. What are you doing, bud? Well, I'm fixing this chicken alfredo for tonight. What does it look like I'm doing? <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? Nah, uh... <clears throat> I just did an old brake line delete. <clears throat> Got all these brake lines off so we can come back with nice new ones. Word. <laughs> Inspection. And, um, yep, I'm going to put us a 
Yeah. Right in the yawn way. Oh, there. Oh, all right. Yeah. So cool, we'll cool, cool. Well, yeah, we can adjust where we put that. Might put it a little bit closer. Gotcha. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Yeah, I didn't want it to pile up on top of itself, so I took a little bit out by. And that's as furthest it's going. So if you jump it, that's what it's going to look like. Cool. It's going to look like it. Or Got like plenty of slack. Plenty. plenty. All right. That's my way to get the back. Yeah. With the brake line to see where the prettiest we could lay that out. Cool. Up there. Deal. So. Um. It's a 14, you liar. <laughs> it's a 14, dude. Yeah. I thought it was a 15. You liar. My B, my B, my B. So, I reckon we're going to drain the oil in this semi here if I can. Right, tidy, lefty, Lucy? <laughs> I do that too all the time, man. Yeah. yeah. There we go. All right, now Let's the see. trick is can you catch it before. I'm kind of a... You're an expert on this, dude. Oil changing professional. Here we go. You ready? I'm ready, dude. Watch this. I'm going to do it without getting my hand. It's going to be chunks of metal <laughs> flying out of it. Whoa! Whoa! Oil! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> well, we it's, get... uh, it's black. We'll see it in the sunlight That's... here in just a second. I mean, but... it could be worse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Again. He's ready. After this oil change, she'll be ready for the road, but This is brand new. And uh, we're putting 1540 and a quarter Lucas in there, and that will replace the bearing that's coming apart. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah, dude, this thing was knocking like a frantic mother late for church on your bedroom door. It, it was a schizo <laughs> trying to get out of his cell, man. Dude. <laughs> so we'll see. some water. Oh, it was some water? Just a little. Ah, it's fine. They they, they run better with a little water in them. Yeah, how do you think it stays cool, man? Dude, I think I'm going to have to microwave this Lucas to get it in here. <laughs> I may wear both hands. Well, let's see. Righty tighty lefty Lucy upside down. <laughs> so that would be we're doing this it. way. Yeah, that would be the opposite way of the opposite way I was trying to go. As soon as you walked away, there was like three chunks that come out. Oh, no. Yeah, I heard. Oh, you got it. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. We're just gonna, gonna let it go. <laughs> and then I'll uh I'll do the rest here in a minute. So I got the the go fast filter, the matte black one. Oh heck yeah. Dude, this thing will fly. Oh, that's a Walmart filter. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thanks, Clay. <laughs> yeah, dude. Well, there's no would I bet if we were to cut this filter apart, there'd be so much so new. much grime in there. I didn't see any in it. As it fell out. Well, that's a good news. Okay, that's enough. More than two rings around, you're playing with it. <laughs> does that say it's stop knock? It on does. It, it uh, sl seals worn cylinders to slow oil consumption. So it's motor hunting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good thing it's a nice, warm, bright summer day for this stuff yeah, to just pour down. For the thickest oil ever made to go. We're putting gear oil in this thing. <laughs> Do you want me to try to hold it? Yeah, just a little bit though. But it'll raise it this way so we couldn't yeah. tell. You couldn't tell yet. It, it's not. Okay. It's, it's different. It's different? Yeah. Well, I, it picked it up this way. Well, maybe it'll. Maybe it'll. But. What's happening? We're just trying to get this perches at the right angle for the pinion angle to be right. And like always, everything seems like it always moves. You measure it 20 times and you get 20 different measurements. Especially when you attack and go on the first time, you gotta... It pulls and then it pulls. Draw and, then it... and draw it down. Uh, well, we'll catch back up with y'all. I like the, uh, the ground. <laughs> attack it. Here. Yeah, push. Oh, shit, I moved it. Oh. 
Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Hold up. That was just barely tacking. Barely got. Close enough for a shot this size. So that got the uh, the boss man's approval. I uh, yeah, think so. Sketchy. Very sketchy. Very, very sketchy. <laughs> what? <laughs> is it a slow go out here? <laughs> it's a slow go, but what I did find out is that it works on Harleys, so. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, let's let's warm it up. We'll put the rest of what's in that diesel jug in there first, and then mix it. What's something uh, I can sit it on? Um. Hmm. And the uh, the instructions for using this. Oh, it says to place by kerosene Wait. heater. All right, place by a kerosene heater <laughs> to warm up. Keeps old engines alive and new engines new. So it is a rebuilding of bottle. I think you just rebuilding your motor. Yeah, it's way cheaper. That's gonna work. <laughs> That's, gonna do it. That's hot. That's warm. Huh? It's a you set a three minute timer or a thirty minute timer for like oven baking. So yeah, yeah. I reckon I put all but a cord in there. Are you gonna cut it open? <laughs> <laughs> See how bad it is. Probably very. Uh, oh. This thing's a brand new feel of the other thing. Well, since I bought it, I hope it's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go, the big oh, reveal. The reveal. Ooh. Ooh, maybe not. Hmm. Is that bad? I don't see. No glitter? Not really. Good. I think we just ran out of. I heard the. Pizza all... bites are done. <laughs> <laughs> Pizza bites are done. I'm going to do all. Here, but... I can hold this. I'm going to do all but a quart. Because I think. With the Luke. If you do the full bottle I'm of Lucas. Doing full bottle. Yeah, yeah. You'll be, you'll be set, bud. Dude, this man's not gonna hit it. <laughs> <laughs> that crankshaft's gonna say, oh my oh, gosh. <laughs> this man's never seen oil pressure like this. It could, the gauge could explode. It's gonna start spinning. <laughs> <laughs> so what you say is that? Mm, all but a quart. All right, that's good to me. Lucas time. Well, no, it don't have numbers on it because if you're putting oil in a diesel, you just put that whole, whole thing. thing in there four times. So this is when you let it sit for 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. And then yeah. you start it up and it's brand new. This actually replaces gaskets. Whoa, it's coming out the whoa, top. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Here, here's a rag. Yeah. Ah, this this all went wrong, man. All right. Now... Yeah, now, now we just hold it. Well, I'll catch you later, bud. Just All let right. me know how that goes. I'll call you. <laughs> you know when you bottle feed a calf? That's what we're doing right <laughs> yeah. now. We're bringing her back. We're bottle feeding it because it's been sick. And, yeah, she's been a little sick. We're nursing her back to health. Two hours later. <laughs> this is some thick stuff, dude. Yeah, man. It continues to knock. I'm going to let it get warm and try to soak some of that up. That should be it. Yeah. All right, it's a small knock. We'll let her, let her do. It's got to, it's got to soak it in and uh, yeah. soak the berry. All right, her first main voyage since she's been at the swim shop. All we've done is just loaded her down with diesel oil and Lucas. <laughs> so let's see if that. Let's see if that rebuilt. So we rebuilt the motor. Luckily, the gas station isn't, but like five minutes up the road, so. We better hurry, because it's gonna 
Oh, you know what? Let's uh, let's throw some of these out <laughs> while we're next to the dumpster, yeah, bud. Yeah. <laughs> these are not ours. These uh, these came with the van, by the way. Now that the open containers are gone, diesel's in the engine. Oh yeah, buddy. <laughs> It's not pulling at all. <laughs> oh no, it's not pulling? Oh, there it goes. Okay, there you go. <laughs> she's, a, she's a little messed up, bud. There's no third gear. That's all it's got. <laughs> I wouldn't yeah. put no more than $5 in it. Just enough to get home. Did it quit running? <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, okay. She's, she's there. She's there. <laughs> Either the gauge is wrong and it's full or I ran out of money, but <laughs> oh. it, it stopped at like 4.55. <laughs> so it could be a full tank of gas it could in there? Be a full tank of gas with no oil pressure. That's a shame. That's a shame. That's a shame. Dude. Brand new. I'd say we take this at least 10 a season. Oh, yeah. Nice. Well, if the motor wasn't on it, then the transmission would have slipped I reckon this thing would be pretty solid. Just terrible. Right, there's one and two. That's second gear. That's third. So nothing. Nothing. <laughs> the worst part is, is I couldn't be happy. Yeah, right. What is happening? We're not making it to do it. Looks like we're down in the second. All right. Okay. Money. <laughs> So as long as I don't have to leave second gear, we're true. You're fine. See if it'll do a burnout. You want to try? <laughs> yeah. All right. Please don't shut off. All right. Let's break. <laughs> we don't have third gear, but by God, we got first. <laughs> At all. As soon as it shifts out a second, it does. That was good. That was a good one. Yeah, that was thick right there, boy. Ripper. That'll be that'll be there in the morning. That'll be there for the next twenty years. That was life off the time. That's some steam. 
<laughs> Look at the inside, dude. <laughs> She runs by George. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I have fun. <laughs> Dude, it was barreling out. That, like it looked like a drag car, <laughs> dude. <laughs> that did Clay some honor. Yeah. <laughs> gotta send that to him right now. Oh, right we now will. Just getting, yeah, getting it done. I gotta go see these trails. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can't we can't do one like that in it for a little while. <laughs> we'll get we'll get called. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. Whoa. That was good. Alright. I don't see no gas gasolating inside the uh, uh is there any gas in it at all? I don't know. Because remember when you smelled it, it yeah, smelled it like a funny. Smelled like a dead cat setting a rust uh, pile cereal. Any cans of gas in Oh yeah, she's live. Oh god. Did you turn the back out on? Did you turn the This guy acts like he don't have motorcycles before. What? Look at this god. guy. Who? This guy. Not that guy, this I guy. I don't know if it was on or not. Some of this in there. Where's that little squirt battle? It's a good starter. Yeah, boy. Yeah. I'm getting my leg away from it. Let's try it out. Open, <laughs> Did you see the what? flame that yeah, come yeah, out of there? She's wide. He said it was wide. Yeah. Slack in it. Yeah, I yeah. see. Well, real quick, what did we just do? We were just fiddling the, uh, with it. it when the, the guy that we got it from said he had it at a guy's place that was having it worked on. And he told him that it needed a uh, rebuild kit for the carburetor so he just bought him a brand new carburetor and put it on there and when the guy put it on he said it was hanging wide open he couldn't fix it so what had happened we just undid the throttle cable the throttle cable was too short so because this is fully closed with the right. throttle cable hooked up it was holding it about right there <laughs> so yeah that's a lot too. yeah a whole that's lot a lot when it's sitting there at, at a with no load on it so right the throttle and cable is too short you were talking about how these have yeah, Two but, throttle cables on them. You're yeah, running only close. one, but it's like a, a safety because you, you can roll it back manually yeah. or yeah, something if it gets hung. Push pull. You got two cables. So if you if for some reason you're going down the road and this one hangs, mm -hmm. just say. Right. And you can roll this back with it. With, kind of like, yeah. With, it's on just the, a safety. On the know? race trucks, we had to run a, a solid cable. Right. And I had to have a hook on the gas pedal. So. But if it's stuck, I could pull it back. My right. Pull it pull it same back. thing it here. The same thing, but just with a cable. I thought you didn't want to work on it. If we're leaving it like this, tell me I'll stop right now. <laughs> <laughs> and stop. Gosh, if we could get that nut out of the way and get that much, about three more threads. Let's put it on and see where it's at right there. That's all the way out, Jack. Hmm. She's squirting. Dude.
Take it off a jump. Immediately fired. Like a charm you forged in heaven, but never been. See, but sometimes I'm sure you, you work on stuff, and people just get, uh, they just don't know what to do and they think it's something crazy, but me knows different. <laughs> and it was something super freaking simple. Me knows different. Let's see if he does a burnout like Ethan did yesterday. Oh, she's blowing smoke and doesn't sound the greatest, does it? Got a small, small fire. It's good. Got a small brush fire. Got a small brush fire. You're no stranger to flame. <laughs> or stuff you're not supposed to be breathing. <laughs> but. I mean, it's not coming off there anyway. No way, no how now. I'm just saying, I might, I might buzz up the bottom just to make it look okay. Right. Oh yeah, it looks good for her. Looks like it's supposed to look that way. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> All right, it's Friday. We just got through eating uh, lunch. And uh, I know the video that you just watched is kind of a montage of everything thrown together, what we got, uh, what we've been doing. I know we got a lot going on. You want to see, uh, we've been working on the 67. We're wrapping it up. We still got a little bit left to do on it. So you'll still see some of that. We, um, I don't know if we, I don't think it showed. We went and got some metal to build a trailer since we're going to start fooling with some bikes. We wanted to build us a motorcycle trailer. So, uh, we, we rounded up some metal at a scrap metal place. was going to build one and then, uh, call my buddy Tim. Y'all know Tim, OK Recycling. Be sure to check them out. And uh, just looking for an axle that we could build a trailer. And he said, well, come on over here. We got some trailers sitting around and uh, there may be an axle over there. So they had this boat trailer over there that the front axle with the brakes had been robbed on it. And uh, we are going to take this and transform it into a motorcycle trailer for us. We're going to, as y'all probably noticed on our car trailer, the wind fenders are about to fall off of it. So we're going to take these dual axle fenders and put them on our car trailer. We'll make this a, uh, I think we got it figured out. We can make a six by 10, uh, cut it off right here and have a six by 10 single axle trailer. So we'll be doing that. This weekend, Olivia and Ivan 
are headed up to Glade to his family and visit with them this weekend. So Seth and I took uh, this weekend to shop kind of for us. We're going to take Seth's bike. As y'all know, Seth got him a Harley. We're going to strip it down completely to nothing but the frame and the engine because we're going to, uh, he wants to hardtail this so, to make him a chopper. So y'all will probably be seeing that in the video. We picked up this other bike here that we're probably uh, not going to be a keeper, but we're going to, uh, yeah, we're going to change some things on that. <laughs> yeah. it's, uh, it's not the prettiest thing in the world, but we're going to, um, we're going to fix this one up just to eat. It's a good running bike, but we're going to, we're going to change some things on this one and just, uh, just sell it to somebody that's looking for a pretty cool little, uh, we're not going to be a full front, full blown chopper, but we'll, uh, we'll do that just a little bit of, just to generate a little extra income for the shop. We found this one in a good deal. So we're going to be doing that. So that's, that's what will be coming up here in the next, uh, little bit. We're still going to be finished up the 67, the honcho, and then we're going to be getting a uh, camper van in here. So y'all just keep on doing, keep watching, subscribing, liking, sharing. As always, check out our buddy at OK Recy Buddies at OK Recycling. Check out uh, Renegade Supply, Renegade Tees that does all t-shirts, Matco Metal, Matco Mafia, uh, their YouTube channel, and check out our buddies down at Prism Supply, their YouTube channel. Uh, Jake and Ben and all the guys down there, be sure to check their video out. And uh, like I said, we'll keep getting it. They read backwards than our normal gauge. So we have 20 pounds. <laughs> oh no. Here we go. Left turn, it was there. Oh. That was our turn. Alright, <laughs> All right, no butt, yeah, just slam it in reverse and <laughs> Alright, now we gotta go straight across. <laughs> 